So the time right now is the perfect time for you to get into the game. And like I said, you can start with $1,000. You could go up to $100,000. It's totally up to you. Where are you investing? Now, again, this is an individual preference, so this gets customized to your needs as well. But there, you can invest locally. We have a lot of our clients this year have picked up properties in February, March, when, when things were uh, there's a lot of inventory, and they've picked them up and they've rented them out. So they're making money off of their properties right now. For closed properties, we have a list back at our booth from uh, Las Vegas, from Florida, of properties that are selling for as little as $30,000. Future development area, so this is when you go north or east or west and you pick up properties that will be future development lands. Okay, and then there's new builds. So this is an opportunity to purchase, uh, say, a condo that's going to be built in two or three years, sit on it, and then you'll be able to uh, capitalize when, when it's built. There's more equity in it and you can sell it then. So it's totally up to you and we'll customize a plan to what you want to do with it. Okay, there's opportunities all around us. We just have to be prepared to capitalize on them. Okay. So what's the average cost to rent in Toronto today? For a modest home, it's about $2,000 a month. Okay. So if you're a renter, over three years, you're going to pay about $75,000. But we're investors, so we're going to turn this around. As an investor, that $75,000 is now income. So over three years, now you're going to be making $75,000. And that's just a modest home. And if we look at some conservative numbers, if you're carrying this house uh, at 4.05% interest over five years, now a lot of people are at prime, so they're getting you know, 2.6, 2.7% interest rates uh, uh, from the bank for their mortgages. But say we go 4.05, just to be conservative, that house for $300,000 is gonna cost you $1,332 to carry. So when you do the math, you're getting $2,000 in, you're paying $1,300 out, you're already making money on this property. Say you wanted to still charge $2,000 uh, $2, a month and buy a larger property. You could probably get twenty two dollars or $2,300, but to be competitive, you want to go $2,000. That property is going to cost you $1,700 uh, a month, $1,775. So even at $2,000, you're still making money on this property. Here's an example of one of our clients and what they've done. They purchased a single family residence. Uh, the carrying cost was $1,400 a month for this property. Okay. They rented it out, sorry, uh, $1,300 and change. Uh, they rented it out for three years, so we helped them rent it out before the house even closed. We had a renter that wanted to per, uh, rent this property back for three years. So they rented it out for $1,500 a month. So that $1,500 covers his mortgage and it also covers his property taxes on this property and he's set for three years, and over the three years, his property is increasing in value, so he's gaining equity. He used the deposit that we took for the three years rental, and he used that towards his down payment because we did the rental deal before he actually had to close on the house, so he had that money available too. And that's why I say you don't need a lot of money to start because there's lots of ways that we can get you some money to, uh, to proceed with these uh, investment uh, properties. Another example is we had a client that was paying about between three and four hundred dollars a month on RESPs for his children. Okay? Now this was money that he was uh, investing in so that when the children go to university, they have uh, some money available to them to pay for their education. And one morning he woke up and he had to write the checks for his RESPs and he thought um, he's just going to purchase houses, rent them out have them pay for themselves, and then even if he was putting in 150 or 200 to cover the property taxes, the property is still, they're increasing equity, and if his children don't go to post-secondary school education, then they'll still have something, so his investment is actually benefiting his children even more because now they have options. They can live in the house, they can sell the house, they can borrow against the house, but there's a lot more that they need to do to capitalize on this investment that he's making than just go to school. Okay. He rented out his properties annually, and after two years, he finished the basement and rented out the basement separately, so now he has a property that has two incomes. Okay? Now he's making $600 a month on these properties rather than just breaking even on them. Okay? Third example is uh, one of our clients wanted to move to Markham. They wanted to have their, they've always wanted to live in Markham, and they had an existing house up north, so, but it was paid off. So they leveraged their house, they took out a line of credit to uh, put a huge down payment on their current house. Then they, uh, they purchased their home in Markham. They've rented out their existing home. 
Okay, they, they could have sold it, but they thought the market's so strong they're going to take it out. So even after they've uh, paid for their, the line of credit that they've taken out on the house, uh, they're still making about $800 a month on their rental property. Okay? So now this is an income generating property. It's increasing in equity. When the land starts to go up up there, they may decide to sell, they may not. Uh, and again, it's, it's uh, rental for a year and it's going to be renewed after a year. So there's lots of different ways that you can do it. Foreclosure properties. Uh, we've had so many calls about foreclosure properties. Uh, we don't have foreclosure in Ontario, but in the States, there's so many properties that have been foreclosed on, and there's some great opportunities for us to take advantage of. Uh, one of the projects that we're working on is there's condos in Florida. These are little bungalow properties. Uh, they start at about 700 square feet. They go up to 1,400 square feet. These used to sell for between $275,000 all the way up to 400000 and the golf course, if you want to back onto the golf course, the premium was $50,000. The prices have fallen in Florida. They approached us last year to sell some properties for them, but we knew that Florida was still going to go through another 2 or 3% decline, and now it's flattened out. So these properties are now selling for $99,000 for the smallest unit, and the largest one that used to sell for $400,000 is now selling for $119,000. And the golf course premium, they've uh, lowered it from $50,000 to $10,000. Uh, we have floor plans, and we have these properties back at our booth as well. So if you wanted to take a look at them, there's different floor plans that you can uh, choose from and, and take advantage of. Las Vegas is another market that got hit really hard in the uh, recession down there. And these are three-bedroom, two-bathroom properties that are selling for uh, $35,000 now. Three-bedroom, two-bath, and there's another one, three-bedroom, two-bath for $35,000. So these are properties that used to sell for $250,000, $300,000. Uh, the banks there are, are trying to sell them off for uh, whatever they can get. And there's a lot of inventory, so that's why the pricing is like that. So how do you get started? You need to find out how much your home is worth. You need to uh, figure out what your current mortgage balance is. From that, you can figure out how much equity you have in your property. Once you figure out how much equity you have in your property, to get a home equity line of credit, and again, there's lots of reasons to do that, to get a home equity line of credit, but the, the biggest reasons are to protect yourself from mortgage fraud and also to be ready when an opportunity comes up. And most banks will lend you about 85, 80 to 85 percent of your home's equity, depending on you know, credit and income and everything. But you can get about 80 to 85 percent of your home's equity in a line that you can use. Okay? And then you have to uh, select your team. So you, you need, it's not only uh, real estate people that you need on your team, you need mortgage brokers, and I'll, I'll touch on uh, everyone that we have available as well. So on site right now, we can do uh, market evaluations for you. Royal Bank, uh, we have our representatives from Royal Bank to pre preview for home lines or, or mortgages. Uh, we have information about the foreclosures that are available, and uh, we can get you started on your five-year plan. We usually like to start with a five-year plan, because if you're buying foreclosures, you need to hold on to them for three or four years in order for you to make a lot of money off of them. Your team should always include a real estate agent, a mortgage broker, property manager, a renovator, an accountant, a lawyer, and also an interior decorator if you're going to be renting out furnished properties or, or even if you're trying to attract uh, higher-end people to, to your uh, rental properties. Okay. Uh, in business school, my professor told me on our first day, I told a class that uh, you should always select the best doctors, accountants, lawyers, realtors, and hairstylists. And those are, those are the people that will help you the most, and those are the people that you do not want to... Uh, uh, you know, be uh, choosing discount people because you need knowledge working for you and the best doctors are, are who you want performing any surgeries or anything on you. Okay? There's nothing that cannot be accomplished when the right people get in involved in a worthy cause unattached to who gets the credit. Richard Robbins once said that and I truly believe it. And if you have the right team working with you, you're going to have a lot of success and investments are only one part of it. But with anything that you do, if you have the right people on your team, you're going to go far. So thank you very much for coming out and listening. I'm going to be around to answer any questions. Duke the dog is here if anyone wants to take a picture with him. And Christina has uh, a little gift for everyone as they leave. So come on up to the front and we'll get you a little uh, grocery bag that you can take with you. Thank you very much.